The Obama deception is about who the real Barack Obama is, not the right-wing version or the left-wing version. We cut through all that. We show who's financing, the lies he has told, and what his real agenda is. The Obama deception will be the first major documentary put out after his election that is critical. All the right-wing guys are still making films about, is he really from Kenya or is he a communist? We're not touching any of those red herrings, whether they're true or not. We don't know, we can't prove it. We do know he lied about keeping troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. We do know he lied about warrantless wiretapping. We do know he lied about shutting down camps. We do know that he lied about getting rid of NAFTA and Gatton is now expanding it. And so this film is about Obama being a puppet, who he works for, and then we get past the puppet to the real agenda of his controllers. Barack Obama is controlled by offshore banks. This film details how they bankrupt the world economy, how they control the currencies of the planet, and how the bankers want to destroy the economy so they can buy everything up for pennies on the dollar. That's why the Obama deception is so important, because it gives you the master plan. It gives you the big overarching agenda, so you understand how the world really works and where this planet's going. And it gives you, the viewer, the choice to be conned, to be a sucker by the Republicans, the Rush Limbaugh's on the right, and by the controlled left, the Obamas, or whether you want to finally break the spell, break the paradigm, and realize they're all bought and paid for, and the real enemy are these private banks running these giant Ponzi schemes. When the public finds out they've had their entire futures robbed, when they find out that a total tyranny has been brought into place, they are going to get so angry, the elite has to bring in the police state. They have to put regular army troops on the streets. They have to have FEMA camps. They have to get rid of habeas corpus and have secret arrest because the public is going to be in open revolt and the government admits they're gearing up to use the military against the American people. Six months before Obama was elected, when he was still an underdog, we had figured out that he was the heir apparent, that he was the anointed one, that he was the special person that the elite was going to put in power to sell the public on their agenda. Then I saw how the media was getting behind him in such a unified way, and I knew the media likes to pose as liberal or conservative, but really they're owned by the bomb makers, they're owned by the military industrial complex and the big banks. So they had to come in with a Madison Avenue fraud. They had to put a black face on the New World Order, as KRS-One and Webster Tarpley and many others have said. They had to give people a stake in it with just the surface packaging of, oh, look, he's black, things have changed, you know, everything's okay, stand down. This is an attempt to suppress revolution. This is an attempt to suppress a massive renaissance taking place worldwide to the globalist tyranny. And so that's why we've made the Obama deception. And that's why we're asking listeners and viewers to get the film, to make copies of it, to get it out to everyone they know. And one thing I want to make clear, I respect Barack Obama's supporters. Their fervent support of him wasn't so much about Obama, it was about a repudiation of George Bush, clearly stealing two elections, clearly attacking the Constitution and Bill of Rights from one end to the other and lying about WMDs and all these wars and the million plus dead Iraqis. The American people don't like all this being done in their name. So they were desperate for somebody who promised to change it. But as soon as he got in, he flip-flopped on all of it. But he didn't just stop there. He then accelerated the whole program. This film is reaching out to people that are supporting Barack Obama and it's saying, please, just take the time out to watch this film. Take the time out, write down notes, research the claims we make. We're saying that no matter who's in office, this agenda continues. And until we address the power behind the throne, until we address these round tables, these private banking consortiums, these corporate systems that have taken over our governments, just like they take over another corporation in a hostile takeover, until we address that, nothing's going to get better. The elite saw a revolution brewing in the United States and all over the world against globalism and the globalist agenda. We can actually use the hype of Obama. We can actually use his betrayal to once and for all wake up the people and shatter the false left-right paradigm forever. You know, I get passionate when I talk about 
the documentaries, the films I make. Because I know the elite's corrupt. I know they're evil. I know they've lied. I know they assassinate leaders. I know they're doing all these horrible things that they're totally ruthless. And I just want the people to look at the information that I've discovered. The information that's open and public for all to see. And I just burn with desire for people to stop being suckered and conned. Because if we do have a new renaissance, if a large portion of the population does realize that they've been scammed and lied to, we can turn this around and so many good things can be done. The Obama deception comes to the info war March 15th at 6 p.m. when I finish my Sunday radio show. 6 p.m. it will be released at prisonplanet.tv in super high res for folks to download and begin giving the DVDs out immediately. It will also start shipping that Monday on the super high quality DVD to everybody out there that wants it in their library from InfoWars.com. And so I want to encourage everybody out there, get involved right now, get the film in your hands, and get it out to everybody you know. PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars.com. This is America's last chance. This film can and will change the minds of people that are under Obama's spell.